I'd prefer someone to just listen or not say anything instead listen. of you saying, you know, you'll be fine or, you know, mm. um, it'll be okay. Or it's just, you know, just... Can I say something yeah, before? Gonna... Yeah, can I say something though? <laughs> um, you have a lot of sorry. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna might sound sexist to a lot of you, but this is based on my experience. Sexist. That is statement or that whole thing that Jed said, it's a women thing. Um, <laughs> and let me let me is defend. It? Good thing you know. Uh, shut up, Jen. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I will be here. You're That's the how worst the song goes. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, if you wake, wake up, up and the, the sun does not appear. That means it's not morning yet. If the sun didn't appear, that means it's not morning yet. Go to bed. Go back to bed. You're still drunk. I okay. will be <laughs> I'll be here. I'll be here. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for listening to your favorite podcast. This is your favorite podcast, The Maximum Filipino Show. And right now we're doing Learn Filipino Pod. Learn Filipino Pod, if you don't know yet, if this is your first time listening to our podcast, is everything about Filipinos. Mm. Um, the last last time or last week we did a Learn Filipino Pod, 11 things. We reviewed an article, 11 things about uh, 11 things that you shouldn't say to Filipinos. So right now we're doing seven things that you should say to Filipinos. Um, but right now, I'm being joined by amazing people. They're always here for me, and they love me, whether they like it or not, I guess. It's a forced love. Um, <laughs> I'm with Waka. How's it going, Claim bro? it. Claim hey, what's it. up? What's up? What's up? Are you feeling good? I think so. Yeah, with the haircut and all. all right. uh, awesome. That was last week. Yeah. And the amazing, the most adorable, with annoying <laughs> voice, um, Jed from Jed Balatero <laughs> in YouTube and Facebook. Go follow her. How's Dia, it going? It's Dia. Oh, I'm sorry. In, in YouTube. J just Dia. D oh, Dia, Dia Balatero. Okay. Dia. 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 All right. How's it going, Dia? <laughs> I, I wish you said, are, are you feeling good? Because I'm going to say, are you feeling I good? Hope so. Ooh, <laughs> and I'm feeling said, I think so. Me, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And my name is Captain Bug C B A J. I don't care. You can call me whatever you want. Just sure. not just not just not if you're outside in the middle of the rain. Because I'm not saving you. You know what I mean? No. Just go home. All right. Like I said, we're doing um Learn Filipino Pod. This is our version of seven things. Instead of seven things that you shouldn't say to Filipinos, we did it positive. Or I did it positive. Um, seven things mm -hmm. that you should say to Filipinos. Um, Waka and Jed have no idea what this list is, but I want the reaction. Tell me if it's true or not. Um, we are in the three different perspectives about this. Waka was born here in America. Um, he's Samoan and lived in the Philippines for four and a half years. So he had that experience. I was born in the Philippines, but I've been residing here. I've been here in America for about ten years, so I I have two I have that two perspective. And Jed was born in the Philippines, and right now in the Philippines, and hopefully she'll be in America, um, you know, in a few years because mm. we want to see her in person mm -hmm. and or vice versa. We go there. And yeah. See no, them. I want her to move here in America, oh. not in my house. Like, don't move here. <laughs> I don't want you here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you it know, will be a headache with exactly, you, with right? You guys, but you'll oh be, yeah, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be Here a headache. Go again. Yeah, you'll be fun though. It's like, anyway, <laughs> anyway. So, seven things that you should say to Filipinos. You should well, say to Filipinos, and I'm talking about. Okay, let me clarify this real quick. And I'm talking about when you go to the Philippines. These are the things that you should say, or or if you know that this Filipino was born in the Philippines and it's just being safe um, born in the Philippines and moved here in America because it's it's sad to say most of Filipinos that are born here in America are so you guys are spoiled okay I'm just gonna say that you guys are spoiled you think you have everything and um, I might a lot say of things for granted. Yeah, entitled. There you go. That's a perfect mm, world. You're just entitled. You don't. You didn't experience that rough life in the third world country in, a, in the Philippines. Um, but anyway, 
I like I said, most, not all, most. Okay, right. so don't get give me don't hate. Get mixed up, you're probably yeah. you're probably gonna hate me anyways, but I don't yeah. care. <laughs> so if you go to the Philippines and you meet Filipinos and things like that, these are the things that you should say, and it will help you a lot. And we're gonna react to it. Um, Waka and Jed, like I said, are gonna tell me if I'm right or wrong, and they're gonna give me explanations of my own list, seven mm-hmm. things that you should say. Ooh. Still Filipinos, are you guys ready? No, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and this will be very helpful. Number seven. Number seven. Starting from the bottom, huh? Yeah, starting from the bottom. Now we're here. All right, number seven. If you go to the Philippines and you meet people, okay? No. Um, <laughs> and when you meet people, because you're gonna meet people. We're very friendly people, especially for Americans. Okay, I agree with that. We are very friendly. Um, number seven is ask personal questions. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't put that comment yet. Let me finish. Ask personal questions about them or the country. Now you might be thinking, uh, uh, well, that's applicable to all countries. Actually not. You know, Japanese culture, you're not supposed to do that. Especially here in America, you don't ask personal questions. So in, in the Philippines, when you go there and you want to ask them, you know, their names or oh, who's that, who's your cousin and all that information, it's totally fine. That makes us feel more closer to you and more mm. friendly. Now you can ask like the history of the country and we're so, uh, we are so, uh, we're so gladly explaining and telling you about our background about the history of the philippines and you know i mean like things like that and all that so ask it's okay to ask personal questions about them not too personal but personal questions that are um questions that are not necessarily okay to ask here in america or in any other countries example of what questions that's not okay to ask here um well it's not necessarily okay like, to ask. So, are it's, you pregnant? Um, that kind of question. <laughs> not necessarily like that. Like your your age. Here in America, you should never oh. ask a woman their age. In the Philippines, that's fine. Like personal questions like that makes us feel more closer to you and makes you feel make make us uh, makes us feel that you are friendly. Okay. You know what I mean? So you're asking a question to know a little bit more about them. Yep. That is at an okay level, not necessarily deep into like who did, how many girls did you like, you know, yeah, or dated or like, uh, like for example. So if there's a courteous kind of question, if, respectful. If, yeah, if one of their relatives is um, crippled here in America, we don't necessarily. It's like a big taboo. It's like to ask, what happened to you? You know what yeah, I mean? To uh, emphasize or to okay, you see. know what I mean. But in the Philippines, that's completely fine. Go ahead, Jed. Or anything that anything that would start a a good conversation, mm-hmm. um, not just like an open ended kind of question. You might want to um, come up with questions that you think this Filipino um, will be explaining or will be um, telling a story about. So you're gonna want to talk, start talking about, you know, um, family. Uh, their their insights towards the government or mm-hmm. anything like that, you know, because yeah. like what I said before, Filipinos are mostly opinionated, so we don't we don't want to talk to people who just you know like how how's your day going or you know stuff like that. We wanna we prefer someone asking like, mm. what's your take on yes the. That's you right. Know, something something like, that would make us want to explain stuff because yeah, we like, like to talk. So in here in America, <laughs> you know, much. here in America, if you go, you don't just come up to someone that you just met. Hey, what do you think about our president? They're like, uh, that's going to start right, an argument. Right, right. But yeah, in the Philippines, they'd be like, what, yeah, what the heck are you talking right. about? But like, in the Philippines, it's completely it's fine. fine. They're probably going to lie to you. <laughs> most likely, they're probably <laughs> saying, it's yeah. all right. But you know? most of the time it works and most mm-hmm. of the time it's um, it would um what do you call this compared to other countries it, it would you know it, it would be a bad start of a conversation mm-hmm. or a, a bad thing to um like if it's the first time you're meeting the person that's a bad impression that you're giving right. them but here in the philippines if that's the kind of topic that you want to start it's going to give a, a good impression um to whoever you 
our meeting mm. or whoever you've met first, um, it would make us think that, oh, you're, you're someone that's, you know, that I would like to talk mm-hmm. to every day or I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. So ask, friend. actually, we encourage you. <laughs> we mm-hmm. highly encourage you when you meet someone, right. ask them personal mm-hmm. questions. Like I said, not too personal questions. Yeah. Don't ask them about, hey, so what are your trauma? Well, not even that, because like, that's an appropriate <laughs> question too. Like, you know what I mean? Like um, ask them how yeah. many could, um, how many uh are you how many people family? have you how many people have you slept with you know mm. like not morality <laughs> questions don't ask them like um you know when was the last time you raped nothing, someone nothing like, don't, sensitive. you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. nothing sensitive exactly. um, yeah yeah nothing sensitive but you may want to talk about like um uh how how many are you in the family or mm-hmm. is it yeah how is it really like living here in the philippines right or right. you might want to you might want to start asking um like what's what's your um or what kind of food do you prefer personally right. or yeah. any place that you would want to recommend personally yeah. you know it always um always say something like personally because that would make me feel oh you value my yeah. my opinion yeah. like you, you care about how i what i think or you care about my opinion you know <laughs> stuff like that avoid small talks Avoid small talks. Yeah, I, I don't like I don't like small talks. I I don't I mean, know. It doesn't makes that me fall into so small bored. talks? Doesn't it? I mean, no. I think I think she's talking about like elevator talks, like oh, things sorry. that yeah. just I last like for a short period. Yeah, because it time. makes me feel like you're just you know coming up with a conversation just so you can talk to me. You know, I I mm-hmm. don't kind of, like like um, that's if me. It's, that's just me. If it's <laughs> if it's like a half an hour travel in a bus, um, I don't think Jed would. Um, appreciate Prefer. if someone come up to come up yeah. to her and ask her about her life and things like that. But if it's like someone visiting in your house, you know, like uh, you a foreigner, you go to her house and you meet her friends and family. That's okay. That's completely fine. Um, but the small talk is a it's a preference. Um, a Jed's Person, preference. It doesn't preference. you know yeah. personal preference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't involve. Mm-hmm. other filipinos other filipinos because yeah. a lot of filipinos love small talks especially when you're traveling and that goes for everybody actually okay because i was going to classify it or if it's there a, such thing as a classification or category that you guys are okay with casual talk you mm-hmm. know a, ca- a casual conversation just you know that's appropriate at to an extent or to a moral level where you guys are okay to speak you guys minds which mm-hmm. is fine and i mean just to speak on that point i agree nothing wrong with that you guys are very mm-hmm. very i i just agree yeah. yeah it's just it's highly recommended because it makes us feel more like i said i i said this multiple times makes us feel more closer to you it makes m- us feel like you're interested about us you know what i mean mm. um yeah so yeah do that um number six okay number six ask them to take a picture with you Oh, Filipinos yeah. are in the top five, not even top five, top three ranking um, race or um, people, Being kind of people. people that loves selfie. They're we very photogenic. Love, we love selfie. We love selfie. We're so, vain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So here in America, you don't just come up to a stranger and said, hey, can. And yes. And yes, I'm talking about strangers. When you see someone, strangers. It's okay. You can ask it's them to take a picture. Like most yeah. likely, they're gonna say Fine. yes, right? Um, here in America, you just you can't come up to someone and say, "Hey, can I take a picture with you?" They're probably yeah. like, uh, "You." Weirdo. Unless you're that one hot person or one hot guy, right? Or if you're a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but I mean, if you're just like a regular guy on, or gal on the streets, and just say, "Hey, can I take a you know a selfie with you?" Yeah. The chances yeah. are very slim of you having a yes. Yeah, cause um, cause we're we. We just love to smile. Filipinos love to smile. And we love pictures. So if you combine both of that, it's majestic. It's glorious. Yeah. Um, and there's no explanation to tell. Yep, I just yeah. agree. You guys are very photogenic. Mm-hmm. Photogenic. <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, like to take pictures. Some well, people I know, they're not photogenic. They're pornogenic. <laughs> I wonder who. <laughs> <laughs> um they have uh, anyway so yeah so <laughs> ask them and i 
the reason why I said ask them because mm-hmm. these are the things that you should say to Filipinos when you meet them, when you see them, ask them to take a picture with you, um, and they will love it. You know what I mean? Like, don't do like creepy taking pictures of them not knowing. Like, you right. can come up to them and said, "Hey, you know, if you want to build friendship with Explain them, um, take a picture with yep. them." Would they ask why? Um, typically, no. Do just say yes? Off yeah. The bat? yeah, not at all. Um, it's mm, common to us when someone I don't. Um, yeah, I'd say most of us. It's um, pretty common for some people to take photos with you. We no longer ask why. What is this for? Compared to, I'd say if if um, I'm not sure, but I'm imagining other other countries, they'd be like, "What is this for?" Mm-hmm. But here in the Philippines, we are. Yeah, we already know it's for Facebook, yeah. it's for Instagram, it's right, for your social right. media account. We already know that because most of the people here are so engaged mm-hmm. with social media. So do you think it's you because know it for a fact you're using it for social media? Do you think it's because due to the fact that in in PH you guys personal space or personal bubble is very small versus America? Um, no, I think I think it's more of a I think it's more of a it probably played out a little bit, but it's more of a the. Most Filipinos want to be popular. <laughs> so if you take a picture of them, they will think that, oh, it's someone's Instagram uh, or someone's Facebook. And they're like, oh, I'm going to be, be there. Okay. You know, I'm going to be one say, of them. Yeah, I'd say most Filipinos um, are blinded by fame or mm-hmm. probably they love fame. Um, not, be, not, not due to the fact that we seek attention, but probably because most of those um, famous people, they... Um, they have, you know, a better life. They, mm-hmm. they are, um, we kind of feel like they're more successful. Mm-hmm. So we somehow envy those people and think that, oh, if we become famous, we have this stigma that if we become famous, then we'd be richer or we'd have a more comfortable life. Yeah. And as you know, um, most of the Filipinos, we are living in a very, um, what do you call this? Uh, we, a poor lifestyle right. or probably, you know, so it makes us feel happy, probably like, Oh my God, I'll be, even I'll if it's be for a moment on, mm-hmm. on Facebook or someone's mm, posting yeah. me, you know, yeah. it's, it's like a compliment. Yeah. It's a compliment. If you ask someone to, Fair enough. right. Um, for yeah. A photo. yeah. Speaking of which that brings me to my number five, number five is, even in the midst of calamities or <laughs> troubles, it's okay to crack appropriate jokes. Right, right. Yeah, that's very, very true. Mm-hmm. I won't and you deny should, it or you should, argue with that. You should do that because if you watch a lot of um, a lot of videos when there's a big flood in the Philippines or uh, I don't know, like some, some kind of fire storm, some kind or of tragic yeah, tragedy. Um, once that camera pans toward Filipinos, they'll wave and smile. Like, mm-hmm. they lost all their livelihood, they'll wave and smile. Because we just love cameras. We just, we're just, um, you know, we're just positive people. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> You're good. We're just, um, we're just very positive group of people. Now, I'm not saying that's all of us. Um, but for, for the most part, we just love to crack appropriate jokes, jokes even, even in, in the midst of... Inappropriate times. Yeah, yeah, inappropriate times. Um, like if there's a funeral and your dad died, you know, like you don't do it at the moment when the dad died, but you know during the during the wake or the wake, uh, yeah. things like that, you can you can see him like laughing and mm. you know because right. we just love to laugh and yeah. we just love to crack jokes. Very true. <clears throat> and so we have this thing in America, and a lot of different cultures, specifically especially in Western culture, where they demonize positivity and they call it toxic pos- pos- positivity. La- toxic positivity. I don't... Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know the name, but the definition, I get it. I mean, because they want you to have the appropriate emotion for the situation. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's a funeral... For real? It's a, it's a, I mean, yeah, because if you, say, start laughing... Uh, in a, a f- during a funeral, I mean, it's, fr- it's so the so the so the toxic positivity mainly 
um, happens when when someone like shared their problems to you and you're like, no, it's gonna be fine. You're you're great. You're amazing. I know this whole thing is gonna, oh, yeah. it's gonna work out well. You know, oh, and that? and people hate it. People hate it. It's like no, I'm I'm, I'm down who... right now. So don't talk about positive things. So those who are um, what do you call them? You know, personally, Optimist. I'm optimistic. One of those people who yeah, I'm actually one of those people who hate um, too much optimism. Like, um, I, I I feel that my feelings are not valued every time. Like, when I start sharing, you know, what's going on or, like, mm. if I have a problem, I, I prefer someone to just listen or not say anything instead listen. of you saying, yeah, you'll be fine or, you know, mm. um, it'll be okay. Or it's just, you know, just... Can I say something yeah, before? Gonna... Yeah, can I say something though? <laughs> um, you have a lot of sorry. Um, this is uh, this is gonna might sound sexist to a lot of you, but this is based on my experience. Sexist. That is statement or that whole thing that Jed said, it's a women thing. Um, <laughs> and let me let me is defend it? myself. Yeah. Okay, me... so I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not alone you in this. I'm not, not, I'm no, not no, no, really it's not wrong. You. Not at all. Okay, it's a it's a women thing, and this is what I'm gonna um, suggest. And I know we're 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 getting you're, you're straight away from right the sidetracking from the the topic. But if you're dating someone, okay, and this is your first girlfriend, and I'm looking at you, okay, uh, women when they are in problems, when there's certain situations that happen at work or things like that, okay. For the most part, not all the time, but for the most part, don't pay attention to him. He's distracting you. Just look at me. Look at me right now. Um, they don't want solution when they're venting out. So when they're venting out about their problems, they just don't, wanted someone. They just exactly. Want to be heard. Don't don't give solution because they're gonna get annoyed. Just say yes. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That's what I cannot believe that. that those are the Man. appropriate answers true. that you need to tell a woman. For real. That's and so after true. Because one. Yeah, because they yeah, were because most likely. Listen, most likely they already know what to do. They're just upset. Yeah, They're that, just the really, emotion. really upset. So they the need someone to talk oh, to. Oh, God, dude. I think you're... Are you sure you're a guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've just been around ladies a lot. Uh, we're like ministers. Yeah, we're the, the pastors. Only difference so. is I it have works. the boobs. He has the... Yeah, exactly. You know. But, yeah, that's so true. Just, mm -hmm. you know, just listen. And just, just agree to whatever we say. Because yeah. we don't really... We're, we're not opening up because we need your we need your opinion or that mm -hmm. we is, need a resolution we just need yeah. an ear um, mm -hmm. but I, we already know the resolution we already know the answer we just wanted someone to listen to it exactly you know? <laughs> exactly and don't say something like um this is what i hate the most when someone says something like um like, let's say if I say, oh, I feel sick right now mm. or I feel like I'm, I'm having a fever and you'd be you'd be saying something like um, that's fine. Me, I feel, you know, last week I feel worse. You know, mm. I don't like being compared. Like, I don't want you to compare how you feel, right. how you felt or like how others feel or how others are experiencing right now. Cause this is my problem or this is, you know, how I feel and I feel horrible. You don't need mm. to compare how others feel more horrible. Yeah. Or how other that's problems right. are worse. And that's you know, right. Just, yeah. It's absolutely. Yeah, I don't like that. Right. I don't like people doing that. <laughs> and and guys, we tend to solve everything. We tend we tend to be um, the masculine alpha male person. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna take care of you because you're my girl. So here are the solutions that you can do. And women, don't, don't be offended by that. We're not trying to overtake you. It's just mm -hmm. guys who want to that's, be the. Man I think that's for where you. the problem lies. You know, um, that's where the misunderstanding. Um, comes mm. in because men you you don't really um you you don't want us you don't you don't want to um like overpower us or you don't want to um like you don't want to command us to do this or that or you don't want to how do you call this um dominant or uh yeah you demanding. don't want to be dominant yep it but we feel like you are being dominant but you guys, you don't want to be dominant. You just want to, um, like, make us feel secure or you want to just yep. want to make us think that, you know, I got you. Mm -hmm. But for us, <laughs> we kind of feel like yeah, you're, you're 
demanding me to do who this. Who are you telling you know? like, me right. to do this right. and that? Who exactly. are you? Oh my god. So that is why it's so hard to find a perfect mate. <laughs> you will never. F- okay. There's no perfect anyway, mate. Anyway, let's go back. So positive. Um, why are we talking about? Because that? it's okay. because of toxic positivity. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. For the most part, toxic positivity does not exist in the Philippines. So there's no, no, there's no such thing as, oh my gosh, you're very optimistic. I don't want to be around you. Most likely, it 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 invites other people to be more optimistic and to be more, um, you know, to react positively in things, um, especially in you know, in, it's common in times where it's, it's if, terrible. If, yeah. If you're a person who hates toxic positivity, then I don't think you're going to survive <laughs> here in the right. Philippines. Right. Yep. Because if you're if if you're such a pessimist and you don't like um, people that are laughing or um, singing when someone's at at someone's wake, mm. or if you're the person who doesn't want to have a person laughing over a, a burning house. <laughs> you're not here. You're not. You're not for the Philippines at all. Yeah. Someone drowning and oh like my I god, said. I almost drowned when I was um, in grade school. Mm. And I can see the people laughing at me. Exactly. No one's helping me. You like and earlier you, today? <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> like earlier in the in his backyard, we were playing um, a, 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 an outside an outdoor game, and at one moment. I nearly ate it. I nearly fell. And this guy tells me, before I help you, just no, so you know, bro, I'm going to laugh at you, then yeah. come and help you. Exactly. I was like, I know you would. Yeah. I know that's you. That's right. So it's okay to crack jokes with Filipinos. Yeah. We just we just love to laugh. Um, don't be afraid to tell jokes. They, you know, they if they don't get it, it's okay to explain it to. That's fine. Um, Is there an appropriate time and place for it? Or at any well, time. Well, yeah, I mean, it's common sense. You got to use your common sense. You can't, you know, crack a joke when you're in church or when <laughs> when someone's talking. You can't just interrupt their conversation. But that applies for everybody. You know what I mean? Not just the everybody, Filipinos. Everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So that's, that's number five. Number four. This number four, and I put it in number four, even though it's really important for a lot of Filipinos. Mm. I put it for number four because it doesn't apply to all Filipinos. Because of the the dialects um, for Tagalog, such as me, um, Jed is Bisaya, and some regions in the Philippines does it doesn't apply or it don't apply. Mm. Uh, the po and opo, like I said, these are the seven things that you should say to Filipinos using po and opo to elderly people, to older people, oh, yeah. and I'm talking about. So here in America. We don't really respect people that are five years older than us, you know, three years older than us, and things like that. In the Philippines, that kind of matter. In, in Asian or, countries, yeah. it kind of matter. Because, um, you know, the older you get, they we believe that you're more experienced than the younger generation. Which, for the most part, it's true. So we respect them by using po and opo instead of, you know, the typical o o or o, which is yes, um, yes in, in, in our language or in English. So by using po and opo, you're respecting them. You respond to them in a respectful way. Um, that only applies to Tagalog. To other um, regions in the Philippines like Bisaya, they don't use po and opo. Not because, you know, they don't use po and opo because they're re- disrespectful, not because of that. But it's just not part of their dialect. So they have their own? No, they don't. They, they just, just say yeah. They just say you know the yes or oh in their in the in their own dialect. Mm. Is that true, Jed? I'm sorry. You guys don't have po and opo, right? The po and no for Bisaya, no, we don't have it. It's mm-hmm. only in Tagalog. It's only in Tagalog. Yeah, we, we don't have an alternate word for it. Mm-hmm. That's why my boyfriend he would always um say and 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 some other people. Oh guys, I yeah, lost I know. You. Where no, no, it's there? okay. Just it's okay. keep going. Just keep going. Sorry. Okay. Asian <laughs> knows. So yeah, mm-hmm. um, they would, um, like they wonder why I don't use po and opo, and sometimes, um, or some people misunderstood that, and they would think that I'm not being, mm. um, I'm I'm not being respectful. Yeah. Because I don't use the po and opo, mm. but it's only because it's it's how. A, um, I'm used to speaking. I mean, we don't really have the po and opo in in our dialect. So, so same as in America, or mm-hmm. I mean, in English. Mm-hmm. 
You know, so, in English, you don't have an alternate for po and obo, right? Right. right. I mean, yep. there's it's just yes. no such. Yeah. So, so to, that's how it is in, to, in, in Bisaya. That's how it is. Okay. Us. So to avoid um, misunderstanding or false uh, rumors, do you guys have to introduce your your background or you know your dialect or you know where you're from like, um not necessarily not really. so so kind you of, yeah. you would know you would know if you go to a certain region mm -hmm. the 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 certain language or dialect is spoken there um so you just need to know like if you are in manila or if you're in bulacan in region three region you know things like that you would know that the for the most part they're tagalogs you know, if you go I towards the Luzon, south, mostly, yeah. when you go towards um, the south, mm -hmm. and they're like, nah, no. <laughs> well, I know that, but what I'm saying, like, say you that. Just, I think you just have to be open minded about it. I mean, um, it's not much of a deal, but you would really um, be often misunderstood and have to accept that because mm -hmm. they're used to, let's say, the Tagalog people, they're used to the Po and Opo, and then you are not, but they don't know if you are really pure mm -hmm. tagalog or if, mm. um what what what's your dialect like or if you have the po and opo in your dialect um they feel um they, they have this notion that since you're speaking tagalog then you should be speaking like a tagalog person which right. supposedly you'll be using the po and opo mm. um but you know when like my my boyfriend's mother she's jed doesn't use po and opo um, she just noticed, but mm -hmm. it's not really that she's upset about it or anything, but she just noticed or people would then start noticing you not using it or you speak differently. Right. Um, and then they would then open up and say, why does she speak this way? And then someone would say, oh, because she's Visaya, she's not Tagalog. And right. that's how right. they would understand. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand where you're coming from. So this is what I would suggest, um, especially if you're, uh, if you're not from the Philippines. What I would suggest is use po and opo, um, yeah, just to be safe. Using po practice, and opo. Yep. Uh, yep. And so, because we, we most before, likely, right? They're... Yeah, most likely, if they if they don't use po and opo, they'll just tell you that you no, know, it's okay. You don't right, have to right. do that. And you don't have to mm. worry about overusing the word. Mm -hmm. Like what we said before, CB. Um, you can use it before, in the middle of the sentence. Um, after or at the mm -hmm. end of the sentence yeah. yep yeah you, I got you just that well, I don't know, as much as yeah. you want yeah. especially if you're if you're foreign um we find it really cute when someone says that's right know, or when someone uses a tagalog oh, word so say okay. something like magandang umaga point. and then you know we okay okay just just one tagalog word and you will get the heart of a filipino that's right <laughs> that's right um were you gonna say something oh no Okay, so yeah, so just to be safe, use po and opo to older folks. Uh, it's just like in customer service, right? In customer mm -hmm. service, we learned this, especially over the phone. Um, we always say you always have to call the Mr. or Mrs. and then their last name. We're not a first name basis because of respect. Unless they told you, you don't yeah. have to call me that. You can just call me by this name. And that that's completely fine. So it applies to by using, you know, Po and opo. Opo is yes. Okay. It's it's the same That's thought it. as using exactly. the po and opo in the Philippines. Right. Exactly. It's the same in the same rule. So use po and opo. Number three. Um, when you oh, this is really important. Um, this is really really important. And I know Jed would say, oh, that's in your, that's in Tagalog. It doesn't have to be in in Bisaya. But I think, I believe. This is for the whole Philippines, mm. and there's a reason for it. When you are invited to eat, compliment the food. And you probably would say, well, that, that can be applied here in America too. That can be applied in, 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 you know, in other countries. Here, it's a must. Yeah, here, it's a must. <laughs> And in the Philippines, it's a must. Right, and a lot if you, of... If you want to stay longer. No, right, and because... I mean, like, if you want to... Because we talked about this <laughs> last, last podcast. When someone offered you food, you have to eat it. Um... In, in Tagalogs, that's a big must. Um, in Bisaya, it's, eh, it's, it's all right. But you can't say bad things about the food. Yeah, you got to compliment the food. You got to compliment the food and ask them, who who cooked this? Oh, this is amazing. You know, and things like that. But don't over compliment it. Yeah, don't come in like those tr those trends or those viral uh, um, things that are in social media. It's like, like, say in McDonald's, it's like, who made this cheeseburger? Right, who right. did it? And then they will shut up. 
man, you did a great job. <laughs> but yeah, compliment the food. Um, you know, say that it's it's amazing. Mm. It's the best thing. I've never you know eaten like this before. Um, this these are the things that you should tell Filipinos to gain. Um, not just not necessarily respect, but to gain their their trust and you if you want to build a relationship with them mm. um you know find connections and, and things like that these are the things this yep. will help you food is always the best and way to connect food is every filipino's love language we love food um so we, yeah we we find ways we try our best to find ways to make food and and do such so yep. yeah agreed no compliment the there. food no compliment argument. the food no yeah. argument. It's a it's a must if you if you wanna um, if you wanna uh, marry someone uh, a Filipina or a Filipino, mm. um, and if you wanna get the hearts of um, the family members or if you wanna um, you know be accepted right away, compliment the food. That's yep. right. Just right. say something good, even if it's not good. If That's it is right. Not even tasty, if it's a lie, you gotta say something like. Oh, that's really good. Or, I like yeah. this. Mm-hmm. You no, know, even if yeah. you don't really mean it, but <laughs> yeah, you got a fake just, smile, even if it tastes so bad good. in your mouth. Like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, if, go ahead. If, if you want to be, you, you you can lie for that particular reason. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I, I don't know how I can um, lie on a food that tastes disgusting. Can y'all do it? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Um, I I think I can. I think uh, I'll. Yeah, yeah, you can. I, I don't know. For the I don't sake know what of, I would do. You know, just, it depends. Just to avoid hurting the feeling of yeah. whoever cooked it. And and I've I actually let me tell you this. I've never had food in the Philippines offered to me served that I couldn't eat. Like there are foods that I it agree. doesn't taste good. You know what I mean? But there's still there's still you can still eat it. You know it doesn't taste amazing. But you can still eat it. But um, yeah. but I don't I don't think I've ever had anything that I've like oh this is disgusting. Yeah, I can't. I can't, oh, I can't eat this. There's no food I've eaten so far that mm-hmm. I, that I bad I could bad mouth it. I mean I ate balut. It's mm-hmm. not something. It's my not my favorite, but I can eat it. Right. Uh, I ate diniguan, and it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Okay. So number two. Number two, and this is really important. You can start. This will start fights. This will start a war in the Philippines. <laughs> um, it's currently one o'clock right now where we at in the morning. <laughs> so he's acting up. <laughs> we need to change his battery. Um, he's like uh, Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 2 when he's running out of batteries and like, yeah, and then doing stupid things. Or no, the best example is um, uh, Big Hero 6. What's oh, the name of Big that? Big Max? Big Max. Big Bay- 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 Max. Bay- Max. Bay- Big Max. Max. Bay- Max. I'm combining he, Big Mac. When, when he ran Bay- out of um, battery, when he's about to run out of battery, he's act like, like a drunk. To, look, yeah, just that's you. Number two is um, number two is recognize Filipinos Filipino pride. We talked about this last um, last podcast when she said, "Don't say anything bad about Filipino pride," and we all agreed with her. Mm-hmm. Um, these are the things that you should do. When you're in the Philippines and when you meet Filipinos, is to recognize their Filipino pride, and there's a ton of them. Mm. Um, you know, like Manny Pacquiao in in boxing, that's right. one of the most popular ones. Uh, you have Leia person. Salonga, and um, she's a phenomenal singer, and you can talk about her, and it's like, oh, the the best singer in Disney princesses movies is Leia Salonga. She killed Mulan, and you know things like that. Mm. Um, uh, who else? Like Apple the app. You can talk about Apple the app from um, Black Eyed Peas. And if you don't like them, that's fine. But keep it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say it. Or, don't say anything. Or, uh, historical icons. Mm-hmm. Or, um, yeah. Basically, you guys pride. Yeah. But you have to have a certain amount of relationship with that person before you can say bad things about them. Like for us Filipinos, we can talk about and say to another Filipino, you know, Manny Pacquiao is not really that that good and they'll be like oh okay why, why do you think that but you know they won't get offended but if you're a but if you're a foreigner if you're from n- not from the philippines and you say things like that right off yeah. the bat you know you give your opinion here in america that's fine you know you tell them oh you know mayweather is not good i don't like him mm. or mcgregor is not good i don't like him right 
we were like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's safe I'm out here because it's diverse, but right, when you're right. talking about in the Philippines where it's just all Filipino. Well, well not mostly. just that, but we don't have like a lot of Filipino pride. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like if, if UFC is um, UFC is loaded with a ton of Filipinos and good Filipino fighters, we're probably in the same boat. We're probably mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's okay. We don't like him either, you know? Um, but there's only a handful of Filipinos that are popular in America or overseas. So. Right. Um, so so don't say anything. If you don't like them, just keep it to yourself. Um, build yeah. a certain relationship with that person before you can say it. But right off the bat, we recommend, we highly recommend to recognize Filipino pride. And that includes heroes. That includes presidents. That includes anybody. Um, mayors, barangay tano, and all that. Um, <laughs> like seriously, don't, don't say anything bad um, about anybody. You will start a fight. You will definitely start a fight. Yeah. Yeah. This um this number one is I love this. I freaking love it and I hate it at the same time. If you go to the Philippines, are you guys ready for this? This is this is crazy. And these are just my own list. They don't know <laughs> any about this. Number one thing that you should say to a Filipino is compliment their English accent. Compliment the good English accent. Even though they have the crappiest grammar, even though they have the crappiest accent ever. At least appreciate. Appreciate yeah. it. At least appreciate like, their efforts of speaking English because this is mm, not our main language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we talked about this last podcast because we said that if you, if you have a, if you, a lot of Filipinos base their intelligence if how much you talk in English. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, with in that case, compliment their good English accent, like with Jed, right? Jed, when you talk to Americans or other people um, from other country, when they said, "Oh my gosh, your accent is so good. Where did you learn it? Like, don't we feel good? They're like, oh, geez. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah." For a second good. language right. that um, you had to learn, mm-hmm. right? I agree. Uh, um, think about it. Like, um, we feel complimented if it's coming from, you know, um, a a Filipino or coming from, um, or if it's a Filipino complimenting our English. That already makes us feel good. Let alone, or what what's what more if it's coming from a um, a person who speaks the language naturally, mm-hmm. you know, from a native speaker. So we feel really um accomplished <laughs> right knowing that we are doing good right even that even if um the person don't speak good english um and, and there's a lot still in in the philippines who don't know how to speak english but at least if you know if they say something or at least if they can just speak few yeah. english words yeah and mm-hmm. you'd say something oh that's really good that's really um, good that's right you know at least compliment them for trying mm-hmm. for their uh, efforts yeah and yeah, and d- don't and say be technical about it. You and know? if you're complimenting them about the accent, say say you you have a good English accent. Don't do do not do you have a good Filipino accent. Oh yeah, don't say Filipino accent. Don't say that. Yeah. yeah. Or the don't say, don't mm-hmm. say um or this is um sometimes I I, I know some people because I listened to calls before when I was um working mm. in in this bpo company uh you know when when a foreign person or a native speaker would say are you filipino mm. yeah yeah it makes me th- it's it makes me feel since of mm. course you're just you know you can just only hear her voice right and that means when someone asks are you filipino i would feel like Oh, it's her accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or yeah. They, you know, so, when they say, when they say, "Oh, I can tell you're Filipino," <laughs> like, oh, yeah, because that's over the phone. Oh, unless you see okay. someone yeah. and you, know you, you see the the face and right, right. Oh, you're Filipino. Mm-hmm. You know, because it, it's understandable because you you see me. But if you're just talking to someone over the phone, let's say you're dating someone and then you're just doing phone calls and then. Um, you might want to avoid saying, are right. you Filipino? Right. Like, yeah. Why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So so don't don't um don't say anything. Don't say like you have don't a good, say Filipino accent. Yeah, you have a good Filipino accent. Say you have a good English accent. Cause cause English. we're not we're not proud. It's hard to admit that, but we're not proud of our own Filipino accent. Like like right. the like we find a lot of people find adorable the French English accent, you know, mm. when French people try to speak in English or speak or English. or Britain, you know, like British accent, people love it, but not really Filipino English accent, you know what I mean? Like the not at all. F and P and things like that. Right. Mm. Um. And, and we okay. This is this has been like um, a meme, and it's it's always being used as a. Um, for, for stand-up comedians, they always use it, like the Filipino accent. Um, and uh, for, for us, it's funny. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. But deep down, we feel offended, not because that's how we speak, but majority of the Filipinos speak that way. And, it you know, it's like truth hurts. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and, and that's so true, like the sir, ma'am thing. Right, um, yeah. The, P-H-P-F-V. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. Or the or I mean, the or the S's. It's not that we deny it, yeah. right? It's not that we pronouns. deny it, mm. or that we are ashamed of it. Well, I, I I'd say we are ashamed. Of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not proud of it. You know, like yeah, we hate not, it. We're not at all proud yeah. of it. We and get there's upset. nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do about it because um, no matter how much, even even my even my mother, even my mom, even if I. I would say, oh my God, that's not how you say it. Mm -hmm. You know, even if my brothers, I would say, oh, like I'm disgusted with how they speak English <laughs> entirely. Yeah, right. with, with most of my right. family members, I'm disgusted with, you know, the accent, especially the accent. But it's, it's, there's nothing I can do about it. As much as I wanted them to, like, you know, you gotta speak like this. You gotta yeah, speak this yeah, way, right. um, do a neutral accent so that they won't know you're Filipino. But, um, as long as they can speak good grammar, mm -hmm. uh, it's fine. Cause first of all, they'd be like, what, what, like, what's with my accent? Like, you know, why is it so important? They would mm -hmm. always say that a Filipino mm -hmm. would always say that right. as long as, um, and it's, a, it's, um, been an ongoing, um, debate and it's, a, a big deal how Filipinos would, um, talk about about accents maybe they're butt hurt but um they mm -hmm. they they would always argue about accent mm -hmm. so if you're gonna talk about it you know you're going to end up having a or getting yourself caught in a fight yeah <laughs> with yeah. a filipino if you're right. gonna talk about like international and international mm. if you're gonna start talking about that like right. you're not right. supposed to say this yeah so yeah because i was gonna say that too it's not just the accent now we're, we're talking about don't the um don't you know don't correct their grammar grammar um don't <laughs> say anything accent. about the way they pronounce things well, um, definitely and then the one of our professors in school failed on that part <laughs> right i know <laughs> it's the grammar and i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. dig deeper into this topic and there's the reason why you're probably like oh you bunch of filipinos you guys are just sensitive about english i'm gonna give you a little background a little deeper reason why we don't do this not specifically okay not not specifically but it's specifically for other people that are not tagalogs so in the philippines there's been a conflict about um about Tagalogs, which is uh, me, um, a native Tagalogs speakers in the Philippines, making fun of other people's Tagalog accent, like like Bisaya, like such as Jed. Um, they're not. They're more common. Um, they they mm -hmm. commonly use uh, Bisaya and English in their um, vocab. And then third is just is Tagalog. So they're not really familiar and f very fluent in Tagalog. So they have a hard time pronouncing things in Tagalog and they have a um, they have an accent and Tagalogs right. tend to make fun of them. So it's a big deal. So it's not just international, it's deal. but it's mm. local, too. And, okay. and think about it, CB, even my boyfriend, um, I know for a fact that he's just, you know, um, is just kidding or is just mm -hmm. joking around but um sometimes he would feel like i i i was already offended and he mm -hmm. would say something like are you being offended right and like, you know that it's just a joke and i would be i'd be saying 
because you always joke about it like all the time mm, that's yeah. what makes it you know right. that that's what makes me feel offended because yeah. you and even if even if he's not uh, making fun of how i speak but if he is making fun of how bisaya speak in, in general it makes me feel like oh god right exactly for doing that yeah right yeah. um he would let's say is looking mm. into um a video and he and there's a bisaya speaking tagalog and have this really disgusting accent and he'd be like and he'd be laughing Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I'm going to kill him for that. Right. <laughs> yeah. So if that's the case, even with local language and dialects, how much more for international? So don't do not do it. Right. Don't do it. And only, exactly. it's funny because it's only in English though. You know what I mean? Like if I learn Japanese and I talk in Japanese weird accent um, and someone said, you have a weird Japanese accent. We feel like, oh yeah, because I'm still learning. You know, but only in English that yeah. we get really, really sensitive and offended about it. Mm. Right, because uh, most of the mm. Filipinos, or I would say some of the Filipinos, no, 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 most, most of the Filipinos feel um, we have the stigma that if you speak good English, you're you're intelligent mm-hmm. or you have a higher IQ. Right. Um, and then others would say, nah, it's like. English is not the basis of um, someone I don't with, know. with a high IQ, yeah. right? But you can really tell how... You don't know? Yeah, I don't know if that's you, true. You I mean, really... no, I, I agree with her, but the basing the intelligence from speaking English, that's not true. It's, I don't know if it's that's true. That's not true. It's, it's right? That, that's, that's not true, mm-hmm. especially if... Um, or you might want to you might wanna think how this person learned English. Right. Because if the person... Um, speaks good English because he's born and raised in U.S. or his um, um, family raised him that way, mm-hmm. or that's that's how they speak in the family since he's little. You cannot use that as basis of him having such high yeah. IQ. But if you're t- um, talking to someone who just learned it by by experience and by learning the language, like how we want to learn other languages, like you know Spanish or anything like that, it would somehow um, you could somehow think that, oh, this person is really intelligent because learning a new language right. at that age is hard. It's really right. hard. So mm, yeah. think about it. And let's say I'm already in my 30s and then I just started in- learning English and then suddenly I speak so good English, then there, there must really be something so good about you, yeah. you know, right. to, to pull that off. That's right. So, so here's my so hot take. You this, really can tell. And we can, you know, we can end with this. But this is my hot take about... Do you have any questions, by the way? No. Anything that you want to say? No. So here's my hot take. This is so important for us, Filipinos, that you compliment our English accent, um, good English accent. And I don't... It doesn't bother me anymore because I've been living here in America and I've been talking to a lot of Americans mm-hmm. and I make fun of the way they <laughs> pronounce things and their grammar. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, my English is not perfect. I'm I a just, victim. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. But I just, you know, tomato, tomato. Yeah. But I just love to, I just love to talk. Um, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't bother me anymore. But for Filipinos, here's my hot take. You, they, we much rather you compliment our English accent than compliment our looks. That's my hot take. Right, right. Like, you yeah. can, it, it's it's way better for us to say that, man, you're ugly, but your English accent is awesome than to say, man, you're beautiful, but your English accent is the worst. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. You break you break a Filipino heart if you say that. Exactly. Because um, English is, hard mm-hmm. to learn especially to speak i mean it's it, um you you might think it's so easy like when you read it yeah it's, it's easy but once you start using it like you know um casual talks uh-huh. it's yeah. hard it's really hard right <laughs> that's right that's right so these are my seven things i i guess they all agree with me which is great um i pay attention really well <laughs> So these are the seven things. If you go to you the Philippines, you did good. You thank did you. good with thank your you. list. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So if you go to the Philippines or you meet Filipinos um, in all aspects of your 
life mm-hmm. in anywhere. Um, and you know the real Filipinos, the, the real G's. Um, these are the seven things that you should tell them to build relationship with them, to get closer to them. Seven yeah. things that you should tell them. I agree. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So where can um, uh, where can people find you in the social media world? Well, you can find me basically almost everywhere in social media, uh, but I'm mainly active in Facebook. Well, not active. I'm just there looking through things. But you can find me on Facebook, TikTok, uh, IG, and Twitter. But um, just shoot me a message. But don't be surprised if I'm not really. How can people find you, though? Waka127. Waka127. W-A-K-K-A-127. There you go. How about you, Jen? Yes, of course. You can find me on YouTube. Just type (laughs) D-I-A. Not DOA. <laughs> DIA. DOA. Dead or Dia alive. Balatero. Dia Balatero. And you guys can find me on um, The Gum Fam Show. I have Facebook, Instagram, or we have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, yeah. and YouTube and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> watch our videos, like them, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you guys can follow this, The Maximum Filipino Show. Yep. If this is, has been very helpful for you mm-hmm. um, or if you used it and it worked or it maybe it didn't work, mm-hmm. let us know. Comment on this video. Um, shoot us an email and all that good stuff. Uh, follow us, Facebook, Instagram, yep. TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, The Maximum Filipino Show. And email us, The Maximum Filipino Show at Please gmail.com. Yep. That's right. Well, thank you mm-hmm. for Jed and Waka for joining me um, and joining us. And thank you for clicking and staying if you aren't towards this end of the 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 video or the podcast thank you Mm -hmm. so much um but yeah tell people about us this will this is one of the ways one of the big ways for us to get bigger and get known by a lot of people um it's your word of mouth your mouth it's your mouth exactly um well thank you again for joining us we'll see you guys later peace Bye. 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 So this is the time where we learn new Tagalog phrases. So if you're trying to learn um, Tagalog, this is the time for you to learn some basic things about mm-hmm. Filipinos and Tagalog, not necessarily Filipinos, but Tagalog. Um, there are hundreds of dialects in the Philippines, but a ton of Filipinos still speak Tagalog. So this will this will help you a lot um, mm-hmm. to go by. Um, so now we're teaching you some greetings, <laughs> some greetings that you say. Um, so this is a word. His turrets are kicking. <laughs> That's right. These are the the Tagalog words for good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. So when you go to the Philippines, it's a great idea to greet people. Mm-hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And these are the words. Um, Waka, do you remember what is um, good morning? I, I believe so. Okay. I, it's mag- magandang umaga. That, that's right. Magandang it's umaga. magandang umaga. Magandang. Maganda magandang. is um, magandang. Maganda is beautiful in, in literal translation. But it's also used for like good, like good, you know, beautiful morning. It's, that will be the right. the word for word translation. Morning is umaga, so beautiful morning. Good morning is magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. Magandang. Magandang umaga. umaga. So the ang umaga sound. Ang. Yeah, magandang umaga. Ang. Jed, what is good afternoon? Magandang hapon. Mm, magandang Would that hapon. Also, be the same as good noon. Yeah, good noon or afternoon. Um, afternoon. Um, good noon is magandang tanghali. Magandang tanghali. That's oh. right. That's right. Magandang tanghali and magandang hapon. Hapon is usually used towards the um, towards night, you know, time. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. tanghali is say, around. Tanghali is around yeah, like twelve um, to three yeah, o'clock. Tanghali is. 12 to 12 to 2 12 to um, 2 yeah 12 to 3 yeah yeah 3 yeah. to 5 is the magandang hapon yep and then moving towards nighttime then that's the mm-hmm. oh yeah hapon still right for evening yeah when the when the sun set which yeah. is around 6 o'clock 7 o'clock and you're gonna use for good evening is magandang gabi ha gabi 
magandang gabi. Yeah, the, gabi. the sundown. Mm-hmm. The nighttime. Yep, yep, the nighttime will be magandang gabi. And the magandang tanghali, the tanghali mm-hmm. and the hapon don't mix them up. Because um, the Filipinos will get confused if it's 12 noon and you say magandang hapon. They're like, what? Right. What time is it? Um, so you have yep. to use tang. Or if you say magandang tanghali and then it's already like five. It's already past noon mm-hmm. or um, like close five o'clock. To, yeah. Yeah, close to five or mm-hmm. close to sundown. They'd be like, hold on. Tanghali, it's, what? Yeah, no. it's already. This tanghali is somewhere in the other side of the world. Yes. Yeah, but, <laughs> but not here, right? <laughs> so yeah, Good. magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang hapon. And magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Mm. That's right. That's it. I hope you learned something. Use it wisely. Yeah. Talk to some Filipinos and greet them in these phrases and it will help you a lot. Magandang umaga. Magandang tanghali. Magandang hapon. Magandang gabi. Cheers! <laughs>